So in this part I'm going to be looking at gameplay from Arteezy and I'll give a conclusion about the AI and where it's going to go in the future. If you haven't seen part 1, you don't need to have seen it. It's gameplay from Samael and PyCat and there's also an introduction about the AI and what's so special about it. But let's get right into the gameplay from Arteezy. Now this is the version A bot and this is much weaker. However, Arteezy still loses 10-0 to it. The first thing you'll notice is the bot actually lets a creep go which is a part of baiting, which it had been using a method called reinforcement learning, which is essentially just playing against itself over and over and over again and learning from its mistakes. And it found that just letting one creep forward can sometimes give it an advantage. But however, even though the creeps end up in the middle of the lane, the bot manages to pull the creep aggro up onto its high ground giving an advantage as there's a 25% miss chance which becomes very useful when it comes to a basic harass of just right clicks over and back. So when the bot actually gets a salve out it'll play aggressive once it heals up because now it'll have high mana and high health while Arteezy is on low health he's at about like 30 to 40 percent and the bot can have this very aggressive position which Arteezy just can't challenge. This provides uh, much more dominance in lane and allows the bot to get significantly more last hits. On Shadowfiend this is a really important thing to focus on last hits because you get extra damage from Necromancery. So the bot will actually only dive the tower in that scenario if he can if he can have a salve and a mango and a courier coming to the lane. It doesn't do it unless the knows that it can heal up quickly soon afterwards because if it's standing in lane in low mana it has to go back for the courier and it will actually take much longer to heal up and will mean that it missed more last hits and less damage as a whole making it much harder to achieve a victory condition. Here you'll actually see Arteezy wants to play super aggressive and chase down the bot keep him outside of experience range but the bot has really good ability to predict where the raises are going to be and have very good positioning so that it can constantly stay outside of the range of the raises that Arteezy has available to him. This, you see even when he has this, the bot has the salve in use that it will not allow its salve to get cancelled as that's a very important mechanic to the bot because it relies very heavily around the metric of its health bar. So again this time you'll see that the bot places the board on the high ground this time a little bit quicker because of the timing that the courier came. If we look at this particular scenario here where the bot fakes raises multiple times so two things can either happen here. One that it's anticipating RTZ to come closer get two last hits and harass Arteezy at the same time similarly to what happened to PyCat earlier. Or the other thing that could happen is that it's using the raise animation to bait Arteezy, make him miss last hits by confusing him or distracting him with the animation. Now it's actually the second one there, so using the raise animation as a bait. How do I know this? Because if you look you can actually see that the bot was clicking on the first level range which is the close level one and there's no way that the bot could have actually damaged Arteezy with that range. So here you'll actually see the bot's trade and harass with Arteezy but the big difference is that the bot has mana for one raise and Arteezy doesn't. Now the raise is used there both players both the bot and the player have neither of them have enough that mana for another raise so they can't use an ability however the one thing that Arteezy can't see is this courier coming and the night vision is there so you can't see up on the high ground when he's standing on the low ground even when he's on the high ground he can't see this courier coming so the bot knows this and the bot just turns straight around uses the mango and kills Arteezy with the maximum level range this is something that I think that was a somewhat of a coincidence. I don't think it was completely predicted to manipulate the courier so that Arteezy couldn't see it. I think it was just a little bit of chance as well as the ability to use this aggression when the courier comes with the mango and the salve and the bot uses that as a very high probability of winning in that scenario. So to finish all this off, I'm going to give a bit of a conclusion. The bots use health as a very important weight in terms of determining its decision making. There's also like some small refinements which can improve the bots through exploits to win such as like how PyCat beat it. But the problem is, is when you scale this up to a bigger problem like the 5v5 scenario, 
this constant refinements becomes too tedious and there's too much human guidance which has to be done along the way. So in a 5v5 there's significantly more possibilities and scenarios which can happen. It's almost infinite how many possibilities there is. And because of this you can't really brute force it. There just isn't enough computing power and as well the application of an AI in a game like Dota 2 it's important to not affect the frame rate significantly and that it can run uh, and not like completely ruin your performance in the game. So how do you actually go forward with this? Well you need a pro solution that is a little bit more generalized and this is where the project could start falling under the idea of general purpose AI and this field is considered one of the last frontiers of research and development within the computer science field. And Dota is playing a pretty honorable role towards the development of this future technology. One method which OpenAI is planning on starting with is behavioral cloning. This is basically achieved through analyzing millions of matches played by real players and then have the AI copy it or mimic something quite similar to it and mimicking the most valuable scenarios.